USA. Well, the humanitarian aid group CARE is denouncing public rapes in Guinea and it's calling for quick world action to end sexual violence against women. CARE USA is based here in Atlanta and its president, Helene Gale, joins us now. It's a, a dreadful and horrendous story, but I want to get an idea from you what sort of reaction you've had from the international community to your call for swift action on this. Well, we're starting to get a lot of reaction to this, and we're very pleased that the petition that we've put out is starting to um, get a response and I think people really see this as a call to action. I think they see it as a call to action not just about the situation in Guinea but about the broader widespread issue of violence against women um, in conflict situations but the violence against women that occurs every day whether it's in homes and schools uh, in you know it just in, in everyday life you know uh, it's estimated that one in three women around the world experience some type of sexual or other gender-based violence. Uh, so this is an issue, this is a wake-up call in general to this broader issue of gender-based violence that's occurring around the world. And it is so big, isn't it? So how do you go about stopping uh, this, this form of sexual violence against women? Well, I think first of all, um, it's important that our international bodies like the UN take swift action. We have uh, put it in, in place this petition to really get the UN General Secretary to put in place a s special representative that can be in charge of calling attention and holding countries responsible for gender-based violence, uh, particularly in conflict situations. We've seen in, in Congo, uh, where Secretary Clinton was earlier uh, this year uh, denouncing the violence that has occurred in that country that's uh, related to conflict. We've seen that in every conflict situation, whether it's Bosnia, whether it's in some of the conflicts that are occurring right now. This, this type of gender-based violence is so linked to conflict. But more broadly, this is an issue that's occurring to women and girls around the world every day. And so we want to call attention to this issue and make sure that people are held accountable and the communities can start having a dialogue around it. While this is something that is so widespread, we also know from our own experience that there are things that people can do. We see, have seen communities around the world that have united men, women coming together to put, put in place solutions to change the way that boys and men uh, look at valuing the lives of girls and women and that it matters and, it, and, and change can occur. Now you mentioned this petition, so there'd be a lot of people watching now who want to do their bit. Uh, how do they sign on to this petition? And in reality, how powerful is a petition like this? Well, the, the petition is, is extremely powerful. I think people saying that these issues matter can mobilize policymakers uh, to take action. So people can go to our website, uh, www.care.org, and sign on to this petition. And it's a way of using your voice to say that it matters, that women, the lives of girls and women do matter, and that we will not, as a world community, stand for this kind of gender-based violence, whether it's linked to conflict, whether it's in the everyday life, we will no longer stand for the devaluation of the lives of girls and women. So what should the United Nations next move be with this? Well, we hope that this, um, this resolution 1888 will be passed and this resolution will put in place a special representative um, to hold countries accountable for the issue of gender-based violence, particularly linked to conflict situations, but we hope that it will go beyond that. Uh, we're pleased that the, that the U.S. was one of the first countries to stand up. Uh, Secretary Clinton denounced the violence that went on in Guinea. We were one of the first nations to do that. And we think these kinds of calls that say we will hold countries accountable for violence against women uh, are critically important. So, you know, this is a wake-up call. Uh, it's an extreme situation. It, it uh, highlights the fact that this is going on every day. And we want uh, countries around the world to stand up and say that violence against girls and women is no longer tolerable. All right, Helene Gale, thank you so much for coming in and chatting with us about this. Appreciate thank it. You. Well, there's much more ahead for you right here on CNN. The Philippines, already battered by two killer storms in recent weeks, braces for Typhoon Lupit. I believe we welcome you to enjoy the splendor of our land.